MagSafe, a new way to wirelessly charge your iPhone 12. But do you really need it? And how does it work? What are all the accessories like? And will MagSafe one day lead to an iPhone without any ports? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, you're watching Gadget Match, and in this video, we'll dive deeper into MagSafe and answer all your questions. Before we get to your questions, let's first take a look at how wireless charging works. In very basic terms, two electromagnetic coils, one of them connected to a power source, come together and create a magnetic field through which power is wirelessly transmitted. It's a process called electromagnetic induction. Wireless chargers have one of those electromagnetic coils, transmitters, while all phones that support wireless charging also have built-in coils, receivers. All these iPhones have a charging coil inside, but new on the iPhone 12 series is a system of magnets and other parts that enable this new feature called MagSafe. You can see the outline of these magnets using magnet paper, but here's one better. Take a look at these x-rays from Creative Electron. Notice that on both the iPhone 12 and the MagSafe charger, there's a ring of magnets around the charging coil. They're all the same exact shape, meant to keep the charging coils aligned. Now, if you've owned a charging pad before, you'll understand how important finding the exact spot can be. Otherwise, you end up waking up to an empty phone. Now, the built-in NFC allows your MagSafe accessory to sort of talk to your iPhone 12, like a handshake, so to speak. So for example, when you snap on a case, you'll get this animation color coded to match the color of the case. Or if you snap on the leather wallet, you'll get this outline that matches its size and shape. One last component are layers of shields that block any electromagnetic flux from traveling to other parts of the device. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to your questions. Creative Mashk asks, I heard the MagSafe is slow compared to other wireless chargers in the market. First, let's set the baseline for wireless charging, shall we? The most popular wireless charging standard today is called Qi and supports up to 15 watt charging. Not every manufacturer will enable these speeds, however, and anything faster is a custom solution. Like those we saw from OnePlus, Huawei and Xiaomi offering 33, 50 and 55 watt speeds respectively. These solutions use a mix between custom tech, chargers with built-in cooling fans, and split type batteries in order to deliver faster wireless charge times. Apple has supported 7.5 watt wireless Qi charging since it was first introduced on the iPhone 8 and 10 back in 2017. The iPhone 12 will continue to support any Qi charger at the same 7.5 watt speed. But now with the MagSafe charger, users can also get 15 watt charging. This charger is an additional $40 purchase. Also, coincidentally, it's the first wireless charger for the iPhone that Apple has actually made after their failed attempt to release air power a few years ago. So what does this mean charge time-wise? Using a standard Qi charger, I charged my iPhone 12 to 4% in 10 minutes, 41% in an hour, and 100% in over three hours. Using the MagSafe charger and Apple's 20 watt adapter, I got to 10% in 10 minutes, 57% in an hour, and 100% in two hours and 45. You guys sent in plenty other charging related questions, so let's get to some of them. JP asks, is it okay to use it with the 18 and 20 watt charging bricks? Will it charge the device faster? If you want the full 15 watt charging speeds, Apple recommends that you use their new 20 watt charging brick. But in my tests with Apple's 18 watt charger, the iPhone 12 charged almost as fast versus the 20 watt one. Artin Bakhan asks, does the MagSafe charger get warm to the touch when you use it? It's pretty cold here in New York right now, so take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. I didn't notice it getting particularly warm. That said, heat is always a byproduct of the transfer of energy. Can I use it with an Android phone? Apart from the iPhone 12 series, MagSafe also supports other Qi certified devices and accessories. MagSafe also charged my Pixel 5, Galaxy S20, Note 20 Ultra, and Z Fold 2. It also charged my AirPods. 
Is MagSafe compatible with old iPhones? And does it work with a non-Apple case with no magnets? Yes, it will charge your older iPhone, but there are no magnets on the phone to lock it into place. The same applies to a case without magnets, so just make sure your phone stays in the right spot. Caledonio asks, does it come in black? Serious question. Nope, unfortunately, just white. Serious answer. Now, MagSafe doesn't just stop at wireless charging. The magnets built into your iPhone 12 serve another purpose. 787OMBMV asks, thoughts on the case? If you've been using Apple silicone cases for many years now, these will feel very similar, except that they also have magnets embedded inside them right under the circular outline. So that even if you've basically added another layer on top of your phone, the magnets are still strong enough to attach to whatever you put on top, be it a MagSafe charger or the leather wallet. Moshi asks, can the magnet on the phone stick on magnetic surfaces? For example, your fridge. Hmm, let's see. Yep, it sure can. One small design change is that these cases now cover the entire bottom section of the phone. This part used to be exposed. I kind of like the idea of full protection. I like that they're grippy and come in a range of colors that get updated with the seasons. The silicone cases will chip over time. So if you want something sturdier, Apple is also promising to release leather cases very soon. Apple also makes a clear case, but I'm not that big of a fan. The case is more rigid and the buttons are harder to press. And because Apple needed to conceal the magnets, you get this MagSafe outline. Beyond cases, there are accessories too. And the one that I really wanted to try out was the leather wallet. You see, this Mujo case has been my go-to for a while now because of its integrated card holder. But sometimes when I'm home, I don't want the added bulk. I don't want or need to take my cards to bed. And what if I needed to use my wireless charger? Enter Apple's leather wallet with MagSafe. It attaches directly to the iPhone or a MagSafe case. I can have it attached when I head out to do some errands, and if I need to take out a card to pay for groceries, I can easily slide the wallet off from the back of the phone and then use the cutout on its backside for easy access to my cards. And then when I get home, I can slide the wallet off and just put it away. These leather wallets with MagSafe cost $59 a pop and come in four colors, Baltic Blue, California Poppy, Saddle Brown, and Black. Rico asks, can you charge with the wallet on? Nope. Lin X Low, how easy does the wallet fall off from the cover or the back of the iPhone 12? Very good question. I've used the wallet for about a week now and from personal experience, while the wallet will slide off easily with intention, just push on its side to release, when you're walking or texting on your phone with it attached, it will stay put. I also use it with my skinny jeans and taking it in and out of my pocket never caused the wallet to fall off even if I forcefully tried to do so. It will also stay put if you try to jiggle it off. How many cards can fit inside the wallet? Three cards is the sweet spot, although it definitely can fit a fourth one. Won't the magnets interfere with the stripe on my credit cards? The wallet is actually shielded, meaning there's a barrier that will block off any magnetic flux that might damage your cards. There are more accessories that are coming soon. Later this month, Apple will be releasing leather cases and leather sleeves, which we saw quick glimpses of during the iPhone 12 keynote. Using that NFC chip we talked about, the leather sleeve detects when an iPhone is inside and it displays a clock through this window. Travelers might also find the upcoming MagSafe Duo pretty useful too. One side as MagSafe for your iPhone 12, the other a charging dock for your Apple Watch. When not in use, it folds away nicely. Third-party manufacturer Belkin will soon be launching CarVent Mount Pro that attaches to an AC vent in your car, as well as this 3-in-1 wireless charger with MagSafe built in, but also spaces to charge your Apple Watch and AirPods separately. Moment also announced its own line of cases and other MagSafe accessories, including tripod mounts and hot shoe mounts that let you attach lights or an external microphone, all of which should be pretty useful if you're a photographer or a videographer. 
So why should you be excited about MagSafe? Now this next part is purely speculation on my part. Some have wondered whether Apple was going to remove Lightning and replace it with USB-C, which would have been nice, but it's also possible that Apple might just skip USB-C entirely and go straight to a portless smartphone, with MagSafe being the technology that ushers in this change. It would just have to figure out data transfer. I'm guessing that with an NSC handoff, Wi-Fi data transfer like AirDrop could be possible. Or maybe Apple could improve on its smart connector technology. In the meantime, I'm more excited about what other potential accessories might be coming. Remember Apple's battery case, which was basically a silicone case with a hump? Imagine if you could just buy MagSafe battery packs and then just attach them to the back of your iPhone to charge. So is MagSafe your gadget match? If you're just talking about this wireless charging puck, then you need to ask yourself, do I need or will I use wireless charging? Being able to lay your phone down on your side table before bed instead of plugging it in is nice, but it's not a need. And while there are many options out there, this is the fastest wireless charging solution for the iPhone. And once it snaps on, you can at least be sure that you'll wake up to a fully charged smartphone. And you don't necessarily need to buy the Apple one, as other third-party manufacturers are starting to roll out MagSafe products on their own. But MagSafe is more than that. Apple fans willing to spend the premium on Apple accessories will love the new MagSafe wallet. I myself am just waiting to buy a leather case and I'm still hoping for some MagSafe power banks. Speaking of, I'm also excited about the third party ecosystem and what ideas that may bring. Moment's new MagSafe based mounts are just the beginning. Imagine this ecosystem taking on new life. So sure, some folks might say that MagSafe is just wireless charging the Apple way, but as you've seen from this video and as I've said many times, it is much more than that. And really what lies ahead is what I'm most excited about. And that was a quick look at MagSafe charging and all your questions answered. If you like videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.